Hey guys, Matt from Total MTG here, and it's Deck Tech Tuesday. And this week I am revisiting one of my old decks, one of my favourites. You know I'm a blue player. It is a mono blue Tron in modern. Uh, it's taken a bit of a bit of a change, so I thought I'd show you the deck. Uh, played it in practice a few times, and it's working pretty well, to be honest. A um, few new additions that just seem to be, you know, working well for me at the moment. So, let's start off with the creatures. Uh, so, really cut down on the creatures. It's got more controlling, really. Um, so, it only runs, I think, six creatures. So, we do have a couple of treasure mages, just so we can go and find our six or greater um, artifact card. Put it in our hand, and then we can shuffle our library. So, we've got a couple of them. The card that we always want to find, Worm Coil Engine, uh, great Death Touch Lifelink 6-6 six, six for 6. And when it dies, you get a 3-3 three, three Artifact Creature token with Death Touch and a Colourless Worm Artifact Creature with Lifelink 3-3. Three, three. So we've got a couple of them. Uh, Sundering Titans, a big 7-10 for 8. Uh, but obviously with the Tron Lands, it's easy for us to play if we've got it online. Uh, when it comes into play, you choose a land of each basic land type, then destroy those lands. Uh, when it leaves plays, choose a land of each basic type, and then you destroy those lands again. So, obviously, we the only colour land we've got are um, islands. So, hopefully, we can destroy our opponent's land for we, you know when this comes in, and obviously when it dies. And the big winner, and one of my favourite planeswalkers, is the one and only Ugin. Um, just a one of I'm trying at the moment. Might up to two. Um, when it you know it's got seven loyalty for eight. When it comes in, you can plus two. You know, if they don't if, um, do three damage to target creature or player, or you can maybe clear the field, exile each permanent with cover mana cost that's one or more colours. Um, but basically, Ugin, you know, if it gets out of hand, it just wins the game flat out, without a doubt. <laughs> right, guys, so now we're going to go on to the artifacts. We need to go and get our Tron Land, so we get these with the exhibition mats. So we've got a four of them, full place of them. Uh, like I said, new addition to the main board, Chalice of the Voids. Um... They come into play with X charge counters and they counter um, each spell that's played without covered in mana cost. Um, I'm running two in here, maybe want to whap it to three, but I've got two at the moment. And it does seem to be working out pretty well. you just got to be careful using these guys. You, you know, you want to make sure you're not going to, you know, what time of the game you use. And maybe you need to use them early, but you, you know, you don't want to be stopping your stuff like the exhibition maps for ones and stuff like that. Just depends what you've got in your hand, basically. And we've got a lot of two mana spells. So, you know, you've got to use these very well, and it takes a bit of getting used to. And a game winner on his own as well, which is Mindslaver. It costs 6 and 4, so potentially you can play this in your same turn. You know, you could quite easily have the 10 mana. Uh, you gain control of target player during that player's next turn. Um, me and uh, James just played, a, you know, was on recent versus match. We had a little game of this. And basically, I cracked this and just totally decimated his hand and, and his board and everything. It's... It's just such a good card, Mind Slaver. You know, it's a cheating card. I do, I do like it. <laughs> I call it that because it just wins your game. <laughs> right, we're going to go on to the spell. So we're going to run some spatial contortions. One and a colour, it's easy for us to play. Early removal, which can be important as well. Plus three, minus three. It's going to hit quite a few creatures, spatial contortion. Uh, anticipate. Look at the top three cards. Helps us go through our deck. Put one into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. So we're going to run two of them. Uh, Unsubstantiate is a new addition to the deck. I really like this card. Uh, return target spell or creature to its own hand. So we can count the spell or we can get rid of an annoying creature just for two at instant speed. So we're going to run three of them. A bit more counter spell magic. We've got a couple of remands. Uh, counter target spell goes back to the hand and you get to draw a card. Uh, condescend. Um, Great card, Condescend. Counter Stark Spell on this, they pay X. Hopefully we'll have a lot of mana to counter spells, but all important, let's scry two as well. So, you know, we're going to run a full play set of them. Repeal, a little bit more card draw for us, and we can return target non-land permanent. Like I said, this is a lot more of a controlling build for this Mono Blue Tron deck this time. Not Last time I had a lot more creatures. And I'm going to play it this way, so we've got three of them. Thirst and Knowledge, even more card draw. Draw three cards, you discard two, and issue discard an artifact. So we might have our Tron Alarm, we might not need, you know, the Expedition Mouse or something like that. You know, we might just have to discard them. And it lets us keep, you know, the cards. So we've got a full play set of them. And a one of all is dust. Uh, each player sacrifices all coloured permanents. 
Um, so pretty much sure the only ones we have are the um, treasure mages. But once they come in, they do their duty. You know, then they're just used as a blocker. But all this does is a nice bit of removal for us. Like I said, I'll try and one, possibly might up to two after more gameplay. You're gonna have to see how it goes, really. Uh, gonna go on to the lands and put in a couple of new lands. Um, Academy Ruins was always there. Um, good to put target artifact on top of your library so we can you know, recur the mind slavers, maybe something like that. Gonna put Mirror Pool in. I like Mirror Pool because the lack of creatures I have, you know, it might be good to copy one uh, if we need to copy target creature. We can go so we could tap five, maybe put another. Um, Worm Coil down or something like that. Or we can copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose a new target for sacrificing it as well. So we're going to try a Miracle. One of Ghost Quarter. A Halimar Depths enters taps. Let's just look at the top three cards of lava. We can put them in any order and taps for blue as well. That was a recent addition as well. Uh, lots of Islands. Um, Gaia Reach Center. And that's a new addition I've put in. Uh, like the each player draws a card and discards a card, so it's a bit more um, you know card draw. It's obviously taps for colourless as well, so I really like this this land. So I'm going to try that. And then we've got all the Tron lands, the towers, the mines, the power plants. Obviously, play sets of all of them. So this is the deck, guys. You can see it's a bit more controlling now uh, than what it used to be before. You can go back and watch some um, old matches. I'm hopefully um, Connor's down on Friday, so maybe I'll be uh, hopefully. Be able to um, film some matches with this just so we can see it on camera. Um, I did have it sort of online, but I sort of traded out of it after I recorded a few on there because I, I do buy and sell my decks online. But you know, Chalice of the Voids are you know very very expensive on MTGO. Obviously, they're in real card form as well, and a couple of cards. So I'll probably keep it this one to card form. Um, but yeah, you control the board state. This is what you want to do. You've got plenty of bounce effects, repeals, counter spells. Um, you just want to control it, more bounce with that or, or counters itself. Plenty of card draw, a little bit of removal, controlling with Mind Slaver, you know, more control with Chalices, and then hopefully win the game with your Ugins and your Worm Cards or the Mind Slaver guys. That's, that's the plan anyway. So we're going to go on to the sideboard. I have a couple of turn aside, counter target spell that targets a permanent control. Only costs one, it's a very, very cheap spell. And, uh, you know, protects our stuff, you know, basically. That's what it's there for. So we've got a couple of them. Got If we need more creatures, I've got a Kozlap Butcher of Truth in there. The big 12-12 for 10. Uh, when you cast it, you get four cards in your hand. It has Annihilator 4 as well. When it's put into Graveyard from anywhere, you get to shuffle your Graveyard back in. A couple more Spatial Contortions in case we, you know, we've got a speedy deck. We want a bit more early removal. Also good against mass creature decks, Silent Arbiter, no more than one creature may attack each combat, and no more than one creature may block, and it's a big 1-5 for 4 as well. New addition to the sideboard, um, found this one, uh, saw a couple of people playing it online, Jester's Cap. Uh, cost 4, 2 sacrifice, uh, you search target player's library for 3 cards, remove them from the game, and then they shuffle their library. Just seems very decent for me, I want to get this into, you know, I'm sideboarding this in because I want to use it, see if it's a bit of banter. Um, Hercules Recall returns all artifacts to target player owns to his whore hand. So obviously, you know, heavy artifact decks, we use them. Obviously can affect us as well though. Platinum Angel, 447, but we can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. One of them. We have a Dismember, bit more removal. Cyclonic Rift, uh, return target non-land permanents you don't control. Or you can overload it as well. If, you know, if you've got people that are getting mass board states, company deck stuff like that, constantly putting creatures down and stuff like that, we need a bit more heavy bant. Uh, heavy bant, not bant. Uh, heavy removal, you know, bounce effects. That's the kind of card you want to bring in. Uh, Witchbane Ord gives us hexproof and destroys all curses. But the important thing is it gives us hexproof. Um, good against burn decks, anything like that. Only costs four. And then we run a couple of negates, which is obviously good against any type of burn, bolts, anything like that, paths, anything you want to you know, deal with. Negates can come in and counter those non-creature spells, and obviously a lot of walkers. You're going to bring these in. Anyway guys, this was my updated mono blue Tron deck. Um, hopefully I'll get it in um, some game action this week, record the matches, then put them up in the following weeks to come. But, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this deck, guys. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. And um, I will be brewing with the new Kaladesh uh, very soon. I was going to do it this week, but I've just been called in for a late work shift. 
So I had this deck ready to show you for the following week, but I'm going to do it this week instead. But look forward to lots of new Kaladesh brews. I'm already started, so yeah, I've got some great cars to brew with. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Cheers, guys.